Closing arguments are set for tomorrow in the trial of a Canyon High School student charged in the death of classmate Logan Davidson. Paul Venema tweeting this out today, shortly after the court adjourned this afternoon. Davidson died after the student punched him, causing him to strike his head against a wall at a school hallway. Paul Venema in court today as that student on trial took the stand, telling jurors he felt threatened by Davidson. Cameras are barred from the courtroom here. It's a juvenile court, and since the teen on trial is a juvenile, his name is not being used. In November of 2013, as he and classmate Logan Davidson left chemistry class, the teen punched Davidson twice. Davidson's head hit the wall, and he never regained consciousness. I felt threatened when he hit me in the classroom, the 16-year-old defendant testified. According to earlier testimony, Davidson had thrown an eraser, striking the teen in the face. I just wanted him to leave me alone. That's it, he testified. I told him if you hit me one more time, I'm going to hit back, he said he warned Davidson. Davidson's mother was among the state's rebuttal witnesses. She testified that her son was taking medication for ADHD as she described him as a young man coming into his own happy and full of joy. His last words as she dropped him off at school that day, I love you, Mom. The state's final witness, Logan Davidson's football coach. He described him as a people pleaser with a zest for life, but as a football player, average at best. But a player who endeared himself to the team by his commitment. Closing arguments here set for tomorrow morning, a guilty verdict could mean a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison. In New Braunfels, Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.